Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time I am super excited to be, first off, unboxing my Zotac GTX 1070 right here. And also installing it. So you guys, if you have never um, installed a GPU before or it's just something you haven't done in a while, um, this will help you out a little bit, hopefully. I'm going to go grab a pistol really quick. Then it can sit on. All right, we are good. So let me go ahead and sit down here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut open this box. I'm going to cut away from the box so I don't damage it, just in case I have to send it back. Hopefully I don't. I have never dealt with Zotac before, so... Ooh, I like that packaging. This is Zotac. Um, now, my, my current uh, 770 is a Asus 770, or an Asus is what some people call it. Um, their packaging is very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up here and try and dodge my webcam. Okay, and thank you for an amazing 10 years. That's this. I'm going to assume this is drivers, which I don't need because turns out most people that uh, have a 1070 also have internet access okay they're trying to sell me an SSD quick installation guide and extended warranty hold on to that and moment of truth let's see what the card looks like and it looks like bubble wrap guys um, yeah you know it's it's been a long time since I had bubble wrap I, um, I decided this time I would go ahead and buy some bubble wrap get it packaged really nice and uh, yeah, now this one is the first card that I've had that doesn't have a uh, uh, plate on it, like a back plate. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to affect it. Ooh, I believe that also lights up where it says Zotac. I don't know what color, but ooh, and this says GeForce GTX on it. That is very cool. Uh, build quality is definitely uh, up to par here. There's no stickers, I don't believe, that I need to take off. Um, all right, awesome. So let's go ahead and move the box out of the way. There is a connector here. I think this is a, yeah, it's an eight pin to two six pins. But I won't be needing that, I don't believe. Let me check. Um, wow, I only need one 8-pin. Right now I'm operating on an 8-pin and a 6-pin. So I'm just going to set that right there for right now. And uh, what I need to do is just go ahead and disconnect this from the uh, motherboard. But the case is what actually holds it in uh, on the sides. This provides a lot of support. If I didn't have these holding it in, uh, every time it flopped, it would have a chance of breaking the uh, PCIe slot on my motherboard. And I would recommend buying something like this that you can just drop uh, screws into. It will hold it in their spot. So I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect that 6 pin plus 2 and that 6 pin here if I can. There we go. Uh, the way that I had it set up, uh, those the six pin and the six pin plus two was kind of holding the card up because that is a very heavy card. This one is actually much lighter, but uh, it seems to have like plastic or carbon fiber material on the outside. This is just metal. So I need to get around here. Just go ahead and flip that PCIe pin back. Um, a little tab 
Sometimes uh, they have a force tab on these. Mine does not. So, and then you can just reach over and pull it up. The thing is, it keeps grabbing onto it and holding it in. There we go. And it is a little dusty. Not really. See, this is the direct CU, like new cooling unit they had. Um, just for uh, reference, I'll show you. This is the size of the two cards right next to each other. Um, here, I'll actually show it like that. So, uh, this is a decently bigger card. It's got three fans on it instead of two. I'm not sure how much that will help with cooling performance, but we will see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just set my other card in there and uh, go ahead and drop this down in there also. So, moment of truth, guys. Um, and I won't know for a fact that the card was not DOA until I actually get it hooked up on my computer with my monitors on and everything. And clipped into place. Looks like we are set. Let's go ahead and put those thumb screws back. Um, great thing I have to say about Cooler Master, all of their thumb screws are the same size. So that is an awesome thing. Uh, good on you. Yeah. So good on you cooler master now this is my uh, my standard build that I've been running for a while this still has a 4770 non-k version um, I'll see with the new CPUs coming out uh, soonish if I will upgrade but I don't believe I'll need to so we will see by then I think I'm going to do some tidying up in here before I close it up, but I'm going to go ahead and just drop that uh, 6 plus 2 in there, and it snaps in perfectly. So that is how you install a new GPU, um, whether you're upgrading or you're just uh, starting anew. It's the same process, very easy. Um, same with all of the computer building stuff. So if you guys need any help with anything, just uh, drop a comment in the comment section or uh, refer to one of my other videos. Uh, hopefully at least one of them will be able to help you out with your problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.